It's all worth it. It's all worth it. Any, any last minute, second, whatever it is, whatever it takes mm -hmm. to spend last moments with them, um, I'll do it. Our goal would be to talk on, on the internet, like through Skype or something, but uh, phone call, letters, anything like that would do. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to just, just see his face. We had uh, leaned forward into preparing our families for our deployment. So over a one year period of time, we've had a number of, uh, of uh, family meetings to get to know our families and, our, and uh, both married and single uh, families. So that way we could better prepare them for this operation. It's, it's gonna be a, a year long and uh, we've established a great liaison with our, with our parents of our single Marines and their loved ones and, and of course our, uh, our wives and children. Each unit, each deploying unit, and the RCT included with me standing here, has a family readiness officer who is really manages the family readiness program for the commanding for the commanding officer. So, I have my team, which is a network of volunteers, in place to be someone that the families can call to get information, to get updates, to get news, and then likewise we push out information to them electronically um, and through social networking and the websites uh, to get them the information. Um, about what's going on with their Marines so they can stay informed and stay connected. Tonight is really a send-off and uh, what's really unique about this and special is that it's not just a military send-off but it's a send-off uh, by Dana Point and that's an adopted city and the families. Uh, one of the uh, things that I admire about what has transitioned over the years in our core is that families, cities, uh, really America comes in the wishes Marines uh, the best as they move in to do things for the nation. A lot of our, our work is done in, in uh, counseling with Marines and, and sailors and, and uh, issues that, that they have back home or struggles that they have and um, uh, being able to help them get through the deployment and be more effective at what they do. And then there's a, a less tangible aspect and that is, you know, we, we talk about the Marine him about keeping your honor clean and, and part of the business that we're in as chaplains is, is in this, this ugly business of war, uh, uh, helping warriors keep their honor clean through it. Right now we're loading up the trucks, um, dolly chaining them um, up to the trucks so basically Marines get into a line and each one passes the bag down to the next Marine until it gets into the truck we just pass it on up. It's more efficient. That's what Marines do. I need to get around. 